Hello, welcome to my guide on how to both summon and kill your own lich in, in Warframe. To do this, you will both need to have completed the War Within and also have a Railjack. I will explain the Railjack later on, but for now the, you need those two things. Right here, I'm looking at Saturn because there is a guaranteed mission on Saturn that will spawn what is called a Larveling to create your Lich, but I'm not quite sure which mission you need to do. So instead I just do this mission on Sedna called Adaro, which is an exterminate mission that has almost guaranteed a Larveling spawn for me every time. You can Google that mission on Saturn to find out which mission it is, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Right here, your screen's going to flash, kind of darken. That means the Larveling has, or is about to spawn in the mission. It will definitely spawn if that happens. And just here in a second, you're going to see the Larveling actually spawning. Just here, this person talking at the side of the screen. This means the Larveling has spawned. And if you see on screen, there's a little marker there to show the Larveling. What happens here is, once I go and take their health down, I can then walk up to them and interact with them. Uh, to spawn a witch. Now if you look here, above their head, it will show a weapon. Now I already have this Kuvazar, so I decided to leave this witch alone. Um, and from here, I decided to come back uh, after I had found the weapon I wanted, which in this case was the Kuva Calm. And I then held X on this Larveling, and I've now spawned a witch. One thing I may add, each weapon has a built-in status type, and that depends on which Warframe you use to spawn the Witch. So Saren, for example, here, when I spawn this Witch, th this weapon will have built-in toxic damage. I will leave a, a guide to which Warframe gives which status effect. But here now, you see my Witch spawning. The screen goes red, it starts talking to you. And then you can escape, and then click on that red symbol down there, and it'll show your Witch. There's two things you want to look for in your Witch. One is the percentage on the left side of the screen there. Um, that is how much extra damage that weapon will do with that status type. The other thing you would like to look at is your Witch to see if they have an F meta of some sort. Next, you'll want to go to your navigation and you'll see here, my Earth for example, is like glowing red with red fog. And if you click on one of the ones that are glowing red, one of the missions, it will show the original mission and it will also show the mission controlled by your Witch. Uh, we will get into how the missions work later on. But for now, I'm going to explain the mod side of things. There is relics you can get that give you what are called Requiem mods. You have both Kuva Floods and Kuva Siphons. Uh, I'd advise you go on public at the top left here. Um, for the Kuva Floods, because they are quite hard and it is quite hard to do it solo. Uh, and as for the Kuva Siphons, you can do those public or on your own. They aren't too hard. They're, they're, they're simple enough. Um, but the the Kuva Flood gives you a guaranteed chance to give a Requiem Relic. The Kuva Siphon is a chance of Requiem Relic once you complete the mission. I'll play one here for you now just to show you how it plays out. So just here, this first part goes a bit fast because the objective decided to spawn 300 meters away from me and it, it all started spawning before I got there. But what happens is once I clear the, the area of enemies here, there's little dangly arms on this thing here. There's three, there's normally four, but there's three left because I've already killed one. But one of the arms will lift. And what happens is there'll be a cloud of Kuva fog coming from the direction the arm is facing. So you can't quite see it here because I've looked away because I'm a dumbass. Uh, and I've just destroyed another piece of fog. But this next one here. Um, the arm closest to me will lift and it will face out the way. And the fog will then come from that way. If you look just here in a second. That arm is now lifting, so it means the Kuva Fog is coming from this direction I'm looking. If you look now, you see that Kuva Fog? You can either uh, Void Bash, I don't know what that word is, uh, I don't know what the ability is called, 
but it's E on PC, I don't know what it is on console. Or you can dash through it, or you can shoot the Kuva uh, Cloud. Any of those work, and that will destroy the Kuva Cloud. You need to do this a total of four times in either Kuva Flood or Kuva Siphon, they're both the same. And once you've done the fourth one, as you'll see here in a minute, you'll get some Kuva from it, and then once you finish the mission, you will find out if you get a relic or not. Now that I've completed the mission, I was lucky enough that I got a Requiem Relic from doing a Kuva Siphon, because it's only a chance to get it, it's not guaranteed. There's four different Requiem Relics, numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4, as you see here, each with two mods inside of it. So there's eight, well there is nine Requiem mods altogether, but you can only get eight of them from these relics. The ninth one will be explained later on. Now, I would advise, when you want to start doing a Lich, you should have three different Requiem Relics out of the, uh, sorry, Requiem Mods out of the Relics. Because this way, if you look here, it doesn't matter which ones, as long as you have three different ones and equip them to your Parazon. Because if you look here, at the bottom right of the screen, there's three little circles. And once you start doing the missions and killing what are called thralls in the missions, that will give you something called murmurs, which will fill those circles. And once you have fully filled a circle, it will reveal one of three mods you need in order to kill your witch. Now, if you have these three mods and your witch spawns, and you don't, uh, don't know what the three mods you need to kill your witch are, there's still a slight chance that the three mods you have could be the correct mods you need in order to kill your witch. So it's better to have some mods that have a slight chance of being able to kill your witch than having no mods and having a 100% chance that you will not kill your witch, because you don't want to attack your witch unless there's a chance that you can kill it. With these mods, you need the three correct mods, but then you also need the, the correct order. So you could have one of the correct mods, but you could put it in the wrong slot, and that will fail to kill your witch. So you need to have the correct mods and the correct order. Now if you see here, I'm about to kill a Thrall, which will give me something called Murmurs, which will slowly reveal which one of the mods I need to kill this witch. If you look on the screen at the top here, it says Requiem Murmurs. And then a little bit of the bar gets filled up. Now Thralls themselves, they won't give you too much Murmurs. It will take a little while to do it. The upside to it is, obviously, you find out what your Witch needs to be killed. The downside is it's going to take a while. Now there is a, a faster way to get Murmurs, but it's also not as good. Because Liches, if you, you, can, you can kill your, or try to kill your Witch. If you get the mods wrong, it gives you lots of Murmurs, but your Witch also levels up, which makes it stronger, which is not what you want. Now, if you see here, I've just finished a mission controlled by my Witch. And it has stolen some of my resources, so it will steal some resources from you. It, it, it'll steal a bit of some resources. It's nothing crazy. You'll get it back once you kill the Witch. Now, you see here, I've almost filled up half of this... Requiem mod Murmur here, and as I said earlier on, you're best to just open a couple of relics, get at least three mods so you're prepared, and then once you have found out one of the mods you need, if you don't already have it, I'd advise to go back, get the relic, and open it. If you can't get the relic, but you do have other relics, just open some of those relics in the meantime, make sure you're on public, and there might be other players opening that relic. It is up to you if you'd like to refine that relic or not. If it's a specific mod you're after, I'd probably refine it. If you're just after any old mod, just take any old relic. It doesn't matter too much. I just refined this for this purpose. And as you see here, I got a relic, but I got a mod, but so did the other guy. The reason I took his mod is because I have less of that one. It, that, that, that's the only reason. But if you, if you find the mod you need or there's one mod you have more of take the other one you know just work around it just take what you need but i'd always do these on public never do them on your own it's not beneficial to do these on your own
Now you see here, so earlier on I said there's eight mods. There's these eight, and then this one here, Ool. We'll come back to that one. All these other mods are separate singular mods. Now Ool, this works, this is like a, a guaranteed one to definitely guarantee at least one hit on your witch. This Ool is basically like putting all of the other eight into one slot. So it, it, it means that you will definitely hit the witch with this mod equipped. But then obviously you need to get the other two mods correct as well. So it's not... It, it's good. It is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. But it's also quite a rare relic, uh, mod to get, sorry. From this point onwards, just carry on bashing out missions until you unlock the first mod. If you have it, I, know, I tend to just equip it in the first slot. Uh, as you're about to see here, I'm going to kill this guy. And I'm about to fill up my first Murmur. And that has now filled. It'll do its little flashy thing. But you won't know which mod it is you need until after the mission. Now you see it. the mod I require is FAS. So what you'd do from this point is you'd go into your arsenal, into your Parazon, and if you had the mod FAS, as I do, just swap out... I, I normally swap out the first one, so I would just pop the first one in, because that's the highest chance that it's going to be right compared to the other two. So I would just pop that into the first slot, and then carry on trying to go for my Lich until I find the next mod I need. Now you see here, my witch has just spawned. It gets a bit buggy here because of how fast the other guys kill him, but I attack him here and then the other guys damage his health so fast that I, I attacked twice, but he's now bugged. I wasn't meant to attack him twice, but as you see, I got the first mod correct and then I got the second mod wrong. So now I know that second mod is wrong, I can swap it for another mod. It may, it may be the third mod, or it could just be none of the mods I need. But now I definitely know that mod is not in the right slot. But if you see here, I'll, I'll interact with this invisible ghost again, and then I get some free Kuva from it. And then I get lots of murmurs. As you see, it fills about a quarter of that, that circle. Now that I'm out, he's moved to Mars. So they're now on Mars. All the missions have reset. And he's now on Mars, and he's also level 2 now, which means he's stronger. Now you see on the right here, it shows you which combinations you've tried, so you don't do them again. And I see I've got that first one right, second one wrong. And now that I don't, even though I don't know which two mods I need, I'm still going to swap those two around. Because there's still a chance that they could be correct, and I'd rather have a slight chance than a guaranteed chance to fail. So I'll just swap those two around for the meantime, in hopes that it's the correct one. Now I've just got to rinse and repeat, carry on doing the missions until I unlock the mods, and then finally kill my witch. Now here, here you'll see why it's best to just equip any mod rather than just doing it with no mods. So here I knew two of the three mods. The, the ones I swapped around, the one I put into the third slot, 
I finally unlocked that one and realised that was one of the mods, but I already filled that one in the second slot, so it had to be in the third slot. And the one I put into the second slot also happened to be the correct mod, which was really lucky. So, it's always best to have three mods, whether you know the mods or not. Always have three mods equipped. And then after here, this is the last attack with the third mod that I know. And now, this has almost killed my witch. You'll see there at the bottom, it has used up a use on each of my mods. So, basically, each mod can kill three witches before it's completely used up and broken. Now, after I finish this mission, there's a little bit more I've got to do. And then once that's completed, that is a witch killed. Now, from here, you will want to go into your navigation. And at the top right here, you click on the rail jack. And you'll see the mission is covered in like a red, or the planet is covered in a red fog, like so. What you also want to check for is weaknesses for your witch. So mine here has gas, viral, and puncture. So what you want to do is you'll want to mod your weapons for those. Now, obviously you cannot make gas because gas is, I think it's toxin and heat off the top of my head. Um, and toxins also used for viral, so it's not possible to put them together. So I'll just stick with viral and puncture because my pistols already have a lot of puncture built up and it's already built for vital, so it makes it easier. So I just swap out one of my mods for a puncture mod to make it do more puncture damage. And then there we go, I've got plus 77 puncture and 56 vital. So that will stack. And then my other gun, I uh, build that for vital and puncture. And then I, I leave my melee weapon alone because I'm not planning on using that anyway. Now back to the real Jack, back to what I was saying about the clouded planet. So you've got here, the planet has got like a red cloud on it. That shows where your witch is. It could spawn on other planets, but my one spawned on Saturn, for example. Now you want to be on public for this, because it's a lot easier in public. Just click on the mission, and then 9 times out of 10 it will take you to someone else's real Jack. Which is normally the best, because who even likes real Jack? No, I'm joking, I love real Jack. From here... You're just going to have a normal Railjack mission, so you've got to kill lots of fighters, and then it's normally three crew ships. Uh, and then once you spawn in uh, from here, just got to kill them. And then afterwards, it will take you to a, another ship, where you've got to get out into your Arcwing, get into the ship. And then it's just a normal Warframe mission from that point. So now the real jack part of things are done. So all we've got to do is wait for this guy to fly our ship over to that uh, galleon over there. And then you just hop out into your Arcwing, fly inside that ship, and then go kill your witch. The reason you're best to do this on public is because trying to kill a witch solo is not fun. And you'll soon see in my level 2 witch took me a while to kill. And the max level a witch you can get to is 5. <laughs> So it's definitely not easy. Here we go, here's my witch. So I'm doing no damage, and this is with other people shooting it at the same time. So very slowly, its health will be pulled down. And then, once we do this, I have to interact with it again like I would a Thrall. And you have two choices. You have either Vanquish or Convert. Convert will turn it to your side and it will help you randomly in missions. It can just randomly appear. Uh, it will keep the Witch so you can trade it. You will get its F Mera if it has one, but you will not get the weapon. 
Vanquish will fully kill the Lich, you will get its weapon and its F mirror, but you cannot trade it and it will not help you randomly inside missions. So it just depends if you want to trade the Lich or if you want the weapon, is, is all it comes down to, to be honest. For your first Lich, I'd advise just killing it and vanquishing it. I wouldn't worry about trading. If you do want to trade though, they're trading in something called the Crimson Branch inside a dojo. So you would need a dojo to trade them. After you've left the mission and gotten back to your ship, you have to wait until someone starts uh, to leave for the dry dock, or yourself, you can start it. But you have to go back to the dry dock. It's, it's like extracting from a mission. If you were to click abort mission there, you would lose all your rewards and not do it. But now the mission's finished, you'll see here, everything's recovered, all your resources that you lost from your witch, including all that money that the bitch stole. Now you'll get an inbox message to tell you you've acquired your weapon. Uh, but you will have to go down to your foundry to claim it. Now they do have mastery ranks, but it does not matter too much. You don't have to be that mastery rank to claim that weapon. But that is you now. Kills your witch. Good job. And you can even teach someone else how to do this. Thank you very much and good luck with the rest of your day guys.